Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Let's get open for business, and let's thank, let's wake up the football gods. And I have some good news. Um, I told you guys, you've heard me say a few times um, about Joseph Heatherly. Joseph Heatherly is the one who gave me the football gods as well as giving me a lot of merchandise that I've passed on to you guys as well. Um, one of the great fans and stuff that, uh, and, and more than just a great fan, I think of him like family. I've never actually met him in person. We've talked on the phone, we've emailed, and he watches the show and everything else, but he is literally like my brother. And I've told you guys, I haven't seen him in a while, and I've been concerned because his wife, Maya, has been having some medical issues and things. And if he goes ghost, that means she's not doing well. And it's amazing because yesterday, of course, we took the football gods to meet two of the football gods. Randy White, Tony Dorsett, and another one that should be on there, Ed Tall jones And I've been calling him, I've been texting him, I've been leaving messages, and nothing over the last six seven weeks and miraculously today today he called now i don't know if it was the football gods meeting the football gods but maya's doing much much better so hats off joseph i'm hoping you're seeing this and everything else if ever you need somebody to talk to if you have problems you know don't go ghost call me man i am a shoulder to lean on and a fellow cowboy fan that cares about you as well as your wife now, I got to tell you, after getting that great news, that, that calmed me down some because I got to tell you, I am so fed up. I, I'm fed up. No, I'm fed up. I'm at fed up too tall. That's how fed up I am. I am so sick and tired of all of the crap that is talked about the Dallas Cowboys and stuff. They are seriously just getting dissed. The things they go after the Dallas Cowboys, they don't go after anybody else because. Uh, uh, Let's watch this clip. I hate to even put it out there with TMZ, but th they, th this, this shit's just got to end. This is just ridiculous. How you been doing? Shut up. How's your boy Zeke doing? He's all right? You know more than me. I, I'm trying to, you might talk you to him. You know more than me. How, how you know more than me. You do that for a living, bud. I mean, is this EDC security right? By trying to repress these charges? <laughs> You think he has a case? Wasting your time. Man, I'm just looking forward to seeing Zeke eat, getting his eat on, man. That's all you gotta do, me too. He ever told you what's in that bowl he be grubbing on? No? <laughs> what, what's that y'all be eating on, man? It's that good stuff, huh? Alright, guys. You know what? See. You know, it's one thing to be the press and following up a story. It's another thing to try and make the damn story. Because that's what these assholes are doing. What's he eating on, man? You know, they followed Zeke last year. And they were talking about Tom Brady was doing a bunch of drinking of beer and stuff like that. And, of course, hey, I bet you could drink him under the table and this, that, and that. When dude was just going through and buying shoes. See, I'm sick and tired because, you know, we keep hearing about how Dak Prescott, because everybody just keeps dissing on the Cowboys. They keep going after them. Because here's, here's where it's messed up. As we have gone through and we have talked about Zeke Elliott, this, this jackass out here who's suing Zeke Elliott for throwing him over the fence after being obliterated, as we listen to that crap, where he's trying to basically get paid. You know what else happened yesterday? I bet you didn't hear about this, did you? New York stinking Giants, second year safety, Carmen Moore, arrested on domestic violence. Let me read you exactly. Now, now the Giants, they suspended him indefinitely until the investigation is done. Moore was charged with third-degree aggregated assault for punching a woman and kicking her unconscious after stepping on her neck in a domestic violence incident.
Let me read that to you one more time. Moore has been charged with third-degree aggregated assault for punching a woman, knocking her unconscious, and stepping on her neck in domestic violence. Yet, we're talking about how bad the culture is in Dallas. We're talking about how, you know, the cowboys can't stay off the weed. We're talking about how it's the wild, wild west. But yet, this kind of stuff goes on elsewhere, and nobody gives a damn about it. TMZ has made a career out of following Dallas Cowboys players and trying to provoke them. And here's what you got to do, Cowboy players. You got to take this shit and turn it into something better. You got to turn this into motivation that you're going to succeed when they want you to fail. I'm pissed off. I hope you guys come in here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be in rare form. I'm going off tonight. Tonight on this channel, my live stream, 9 o'clock. I'm sick and tired. You know, not, not just these asses from TMZ. But the damn trolls that come in here talking about my quarterback and everything else, these asses on, uh, and excuse my language, I'm, I, forgive me, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, football gods. I am just sick of it. Sick. I'll see you guys at 9 o'clock.